Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. This month we're talking Turkish, one of my favourite cuisines. I love it because it's so relaxed and easy. It's all about shared platters of beautiful, fresh, vibrant food. And a dish that goes with one dish can go just as easily with another dish. And that's something that we're going to look at now. We're going to make Mohamara, which is a gorgeous terracotta coloured dip made with red capsicum, beautiful walnuts, some pomegranate molasses, garlic, lemon juice, cumin and Aleppo pepper. We're going to serve it with burek, which is fabulous. It's great with seafood, it's great on a mezze table, it's great with just about anything. Once you see how easy it is, you're going to be whipping it up and serving with so many dishes. So let's get started. Lovely red capsicum. We need to roast this, so I'm just going to give it a little drizzle of olive oil. It doesn't need much, but I find that helps char the skin. Rub it all over with olive oil and pop it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes until it's well charred all over. Then we're just going to cover it until it cools down so we can peel the skin off, throw away the seeds and membranes, and literally just blitz it up with everything else. Now, you can char it over an open fire uh, or on a barbecue. I find the long, slow 30 to 40 minutes in the oven gives the best results. But if you're in a hurry, certainly whack it over an open flame or on a barbecue. Let's pop it in the oven. So once our capsicum's nicely charred, I've just popped it in a bowl and covered it with plastic wrap. It doesn't have to be black, it just has to be nice and wrinkly. It'll collapse like that virtually as soon as you take it out of the oven. And we're just going to let it steam for a while so it's easy to peel. A couple more things I want to tell you about. Biber salchasi, I hope I'm saying that right. Red capsicum paste. Very important part of Turkish cuisine. It appears in so many dishes. There's a hot version and a mild version. We're using the mild version, but you could certainly get the hot version if that's how you like things. And pomegranate molasses, I mentioned this before. There's several different types of pomegranate molasses. I like this one. I like the Cortaz brand out of the Middle East. I think it's very good. And I like this one because it's pure pomegranate. There's no sugar. Cortaz also do a different one, which is 30% sugar. Why? I think, um, I think this is the better one. So have a read of the labels when you're buying things like pomegranate molasses because they're not all the same. Uh, cumin, salt, Aleppo pepper, garlic, walnuts, Let's see if our capsicum is ready to peel. Yep, don't need chef hands to handle him. Now, I want the juice. I don't want the seeds, but I do want the juice. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to leave it just for another minute to cool a little bit more. Then I'm also going to strain that juice into the blender where I've already got the pomegranate molasses, some lemon juice and some olive oil. There we go, once it's torn open it doesn't take long to cool down. So I'm just going to wipe the seeds off there and pop that into the blender. Doesn't matter if you get the odd seed, but you know me, I'm a bit OCD. There we go, in with that, just a few bits. And as I said, I want that juice, there's not a lot that's come out, but any that has, I just want to strain that in there too. Sometimes you get quite a bit, there's not much in there, but that's fine. Okay, what else? Our red pepper paste. Uh, yes, red pepper paste, capsicum paste. Now, something about this, you want to keep it in the fridge once it's open. Um, it does last quite well in the fridge, but I tend to wipe down the sides and put a little olive oil. If you can see that, there's a layer of olive oil on the top and store it in the fridge that way just so it lasts as long as possible. In with our salt and spices, in with some garlic and some walnuts. My favourite kitchen gadget. To me, it's not about pulsing. This is a good hard blitz. I want this nice and fine. Most recipes that you see for Mohamara will contain breadcrumbs. Somer doesn't use any in his, and I like to follow his lead in this. 
it, um, it gives it a deeper, richer flavour, I think, but it makes very little difference. If you want to bulk it out, if you want to try the traditional way, you'd put about two tablespoons of breadcrumbs soaked in about two tablespoons of water into this quantity. And there we have it. It's always going to be a relatively coarse paste because of the walnuts. But as I said, I like to make it quite smooth. The beauty of Turkish food is the beauty of Turkish food is you can make it however you like it. So look at that colour. I just obviously love oranges, terracottas. This is pure comfort food for me. You could serve it with a plate of raw vegetables, crudités, raw and cooked vegetables perhaps. You could serve it as part of a mezze. As I said, we're going to serve it alongside, mm, mm, that's so good. We're going to serve it alongside Borek and it keeps for a few days in the fridge if you can resist it that long. Enjoy.